Hi everyone and welcome to another Married to Reselling video. I'm Simon. I'm Faye. And together we're a UK reseller couple selling mainly on Amazon and eBay. Today we are in what is often regularly voted as the crappiest town in the UK. And in 2023 it was voted the worst place to live in the UK. Where are we? Luton. We are in Luton and the, the most important thing that you need to know about Luton is... What? Fly at me. What? Oh, I was born here. So it is a town that we know very well and I grew up about four miles away from here. We haven't been sourcing here for a few years so we thought we would come and check out the town and see how it's changed and, uh, and see really last time we came here we probably did okay. Yeah, I think we probably did, but that was way before lockdown. But now it's changed even more. Let's see what we can find. That's the car park for the world famous Luton Arndale, now known as the Mall. I think it's actually called the Point now. Oh, is it? Yeah. And that is the UK's first shopping centre. Indoor shopping mall. Indoor shopping mall. Right behind there. Somewhere I used to visit back in the day, they had our price they had um yeah Woolworths um and the market as well I used to go to the market for my sweets uh, Thornton's was there sad times it's m &S. was it m and there there yeah we're little oh, yeah. that was the second place it was and BH no Debenhams was through there where Sports Direct is now. What about, um, that was Devon, was there a VHS? Yeah, it was outside. Oh, there's the post office in Smith's. This charity shop is, only sells new stuff apparently. Oh, sure, isn't it? So sell it in time with them. Here we go. Yeah. So sell it in time with them, you get £1.72 back. So you'll make 50 Alarm. There's somebody downstairs in the clearance outlet. Wonder what that was. Someone at the door. I don't think I should open it. No. Maybe. Yeah. It's um pretty soulless. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pretty depressing. Let's go. Would have made it into boots. I think these places have just got really, really miserable. I just don't feel like there's any anything going on. God, what's going on in there? Vaccination and health appointments. That's where they used to have the clearance section in there, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> where we used to buy all the newbie stuff. Yeah, that's what Oh, you're on the hunt for the clearance. There, I can see a sign over there. 
over the far side. Fourteen ninety nine. I've just seen how much it is new on Amazon, but it's twenty pounds and ninety five p. Where's Turkish delight from anyway? I want to go and look because when I used to come here back in the day, well, not even that long ago. You always used to, when we used to come down through there. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I used to come down, down that lift and walk past here and be presented with the sweet and sour chicken. I really want to eat it, but I know better. It looks so good. Salvation Army up here on the left. Oh, the yes. Even better though, KFC. No. Every shop's got security, but they all look very bored. Slim pickles. Mm. It's pretty miserable. Last time I came in here. We've got Disney books years ago, didn't we? Yeah. Like we've not been in here for what? Four yes. years? Four lockdowns. Yeah. And it was, it, was, I mean, it was bad then, but... It's worse now. Smokers Paradise. Is that? Is there's there's actually people shopping in there. I know they're doing like threading. There. There's like a little at, at yeah. Beauty Salon in there. It looks like there's like other places. True. Um. <laughs> Just go and have a browse. <laughs> this used to be the Marks and Spencers. Yeah, the clothes up there and the food is down there. I used to come on Saturdays with my nanny and my mum when I was like three, four, five. No, it's just a Hong buffet is piss. coming to you. And with the pink flamingos at this yeah. intersection, yeah. now they're out the front. Are they out the front now? No. Did they bring them back? They borrowed them. Oh. Of the new owner for like the anniversary of the mall or something. What do you reckon the chances that this charity shop's still up here? Mm. I think it is. Yeah. Cinema? Get another tenner. Yeah. More oh, free money. It's all the same machines, isn't it? Yeah. King Kong Cash. Buffalo Rising. That's a different one. Mm, nice grain. So what films have you seen here? Care Bears. Care Bears? Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I can't remember now. Loads. Yeah. Loads, are you? Yeah, a few. I think um, Never Ending Story. Ooh. I think we came to see Bay Pig in the City, but we went in the wrong <laughs> cinema and ended up watching Never Ending Story. We all throughout the way for the pig to turn up. <laughs> she never did. Um, yeah, that's the one I remember just because that happened, but yeah, quite a few yeah. in the day. Me too. 
love casino. It's basically casinos, corner betting shops, shops, corner shops, corner shops um, world food shops, yeah, cafes. You used to work for Yorkshire Bank up yeah. here. Um, I did jury service up there in the, behind the green windows. That was a behind the tile. green window. Hey, really? Yeah, so hey, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there used to be a charity shop in that building there, MJA Hair. The castle is a parrot. Really? It died of lung cancer, I should think. Oh. When we met properly, when we were camping in Scotland, and I came home, and you were still in Scotland, and I was waiting for you to ring me. Yeah. I was in that pub when you messaged me. Oh, what, the castle? The Red Lion. Oh, that one there. I can even remember what I was wearing. <laughs> purple and black dress. Oh, wow. Oh, look. That's where I used to work. What, the dessert shop? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Oh, was that, so that was Yorkshire Bank? Yeah. Started as a cashier and then I was a personal banker. And then they transferred me to Stevenage, which I was not happy about. Rather uh, being looted than Stevenage. Yeah. Well, my friends worked here. Oh, yeah. And um, then I got transferred to St Albans, which is just a trek. And then um, I quit. And then ended up moving to an advertising agency just up the road here. Town shop. That'd be amazing. Oh, here we are. Uh, Yeah. You can't do that in here, I'm afraid it's... Oh, can't I? No, it's because our head office won't allow any type of filming in here for anything, I'm afraid. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. My granddad used to work here. Behind here? Yeah, yeah. It used to be a, it used to be the Kangol Hat Factory. My granddad used to make hats there, and my nanny used to work in the hat factory out there. In terms of pickups, we won't give you a haul because we're standing in the churchyard. It's about um, to rain. Yeah, it's about to rain. I've got one uh, bag for life. It's got two jigsaw puzzles in it, a game, a DVD. You got a dish. Did I get something else? Oh, a picture. A, yeah, a dish and a picture. Because so, we're art dealers now, remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's about it. So not really much to show you. I think that's pretty much what we expected. As Faye said earlier, the charity shops, a lot of them aren't here anymore. Um, and I think here, what people have got, they want to hold on to. There's no um, particular sort of brand shops here. I actually heard a couple of charity shop workers having that exact conversation in one of the charity shops that, were, they were in, that we were in, because they were looking, they had a phase eight dress, brand new with tags that they wanted 15 quid for. And they were having that conversation that just don't see those sort of brands, even even Phase Eight, you know, which obviously isn't a luxury brand. Um, but yeah, the the stuff just isn't here. And we weren't shopping for clothes, obviously, but um, yeah, you know, you could tell the sort of stuff that yeah. was around. As you might have seen in the video, I got told off for filming because apparently head office doesn't like it. That was in a keech. It's a new one on me. I head filmed. office is only up the road. Yeah, I filmed in loads of keeches, so um, I don't know if it was just a job's worth or whatever. I was then waiting for her to come over and say, oh, we don't like resellers either, when I was uh, scanning stuff. Um, also, we went to a charity shop that Faye had mentioned before we got here that sells only new stuff. And I did a bit of filming in there, so you'd have seen that. And um, it was just crap. We we're having the, the brakes done on the car, so that's why we're here. We thought we'd kill a few hours um we got a call brakes are done so we're on our way back we've been around the town what did you think it's bad it's not as good as it used to be and even when people used to say it was bad i didn't think it was that bad but it, it, it wasn't great 
uh, only a couple of charity shops and loads of the main shops are shut down um, yeah it's just a weird vibe it's not the same I used to work here uh, in a couple of different places and my family all lived here and some of them still do and yeah it's just not the same we got asked for money quite a few times there's a lot of homeless um, a lot of poverty you know all the sort of things that, that you see in English towns nowadays in, in high streets town centres all changing a lot of them changing for the worse there's been a lot of development in Luton particularly around um, the uh, airport the station and the uni and the, the uni yeah and the town centre um, but yeah it's still it's still pretty grim I mean it's it's got pretty grim it's, it doesn't feel very nice I won't kind be washing of, back yeah sort of felt safe enough Oh yeah, didn't but, have any um, issues with that. Just memories of like things that, like I used to come here shopping as a teenager with my friends, jump on the train and jump on the bus. I used to come here and then get the bus to see my grandparents. And it's just all, it's all changed completely and just not for the better. We are standing outside the church that Faye's mum and dad got married in. Yes. St Mary's Church in Luton. So we thought that would be a good place to finish the video. Let us know where you think is the crappiest town in the UK. What's the worst town in the UK? It might be somewhere you've just been or it might be where you live. Uh, let us know where to avoid. Do you come sourcing in Luton ever? Let us know. Love to hear your points of view. We actually came to Radio 1's big weekend here a couple of weekends ago and that was fab. Yeah. Totally fab. Totally different vibe. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.